So we'll go full throttle. Today we're gonna fly the brand new RV7. This plane just came out by E-Flight, is packed full of technology like safe and smart tech, making it super beginner friendly, but it's also 4S capable. So in today's video, we're gonna maiden this and see how beginner friendly it is, but also how advanced can we fly this thing for the more advanced pilot? This might be for everyone. Guys, the lights on this airplane look absolutely amazing when it's on, as you could see. I love that tri-bladed prop on here. And like I said in the intro, this has safe technology. It's going to limit how far the plane can bank in any direction, not letting you ever get upside down or disoriented. If you're doing a stunt by accident or on purpose you can throw that switch and it'll snap the plane back to auto level making this super beginner friendly not to mention it can fly on a 3s battery too also i love the fact that these planes now are coming out with smart technology which allows telemetry to go back to your radio telling you how much juice you have left i put this together in about honestly maybe 15 minutes because i had to wait for my hot glue gun to warm up with this little sidestep on the back of the airplane. Now, if you don't like that side step because maybe your flap will get in the way there or because uh, if you fly off of grass and it's a little bit taller and it might catch, it actually comes with a plug that you can put in that that looks really nice instead of that side step. And Abby, let's get a little shot of the pilot here because this is one of the most detailed pilots I've seen in one of E-Flight's planes, especially around the one meter wingspan. He definitely needs a name. I think so. He looks a little bit like me if any pilot ever has looked like me in any way he wish it looked like me. it would be him but nah he doesn't really look like me yeah i don't know who he looks like <laughs> but if you would name him in the comments below and i'll go wake this plane up okay guys a uh, major issue just happened with our setup has nothing to do with the airplane but uh our nice awesome 4k video that you were just watching for the intro that camera died completely, so we had to come back up here uh, and give this another shot. It's a few days later. Yeah, with <laughs> our old camera. Now this one has gotten us by for years and years and years. It's a great camera, but it's not our beautiful 4K video anymore. So just for getting back out here and doing this, please give this video a like. I'll give you guys just a couple seconds to like the video. I'm excited for takeoff. Abby, are you ready? I'm ready. Bear with Abby. She might have to relearn using this camera. <laughs> this is it right here. We're just kind of going with it. Ready? So here we go and we're up I have a 3s battery in here now I can't remember what I said I was gonna do in the uh, intro maybe I said I was just gonna do 4s I probably did um, but here we are on a 3s battery we're just gonna fly this a little bit nice and scale and see how it does it's a very nice scale airplane and it reminds me of a recent air show we just attended where we saw a real RV6 perform for the audience. Now this is an RV7, but the RV6 was a very, very aerobatic airplane, kind of a semi or you know what, they were a very much stunt pilot. So it's really cool to see this flying. Um, and, and a lot of you guys, when I throw a few maneuvers at this airplane, you're gonna say, well, Nate, that's not scale. The way you're flying it right now is scale, right? No, this RV6 that we watched was crazy aerobatic. So I'm gonna do some aerobatic maneuvers with this. And actually, after I fly this for just a couple minutes on the 3S battery, we're gonna put a 4S battery in it and just completely wake it up. So this whole thing so far has been with safe on. If you want to fly this just ridiculously comfortable and scale, I need to trim that up maybe. Okay, we're good. If you want to fly it extremely scale in safe, kind of as a trainer, I've been cruising at about 55% throttle this entire time with safe on, and this is what you get, you know? This really nice, very uh, docile flying. Now, full bank in safe is actually almost a vertical wing. So this is right out of the box. I don't do any expo. I don't do any rates or anything like that. A lot of people are just blown away when I say that. But here's a full bank turn with about 75% throttle and some up elevator. There's full bank. I'll show you guys how much bank you get. We'll get a little closer. I'm just gonna kind of circle around a little, a little more throttle. You ready for this, Abby? We're just gonna bank it, give a little bit of up elevator. That's full safe, but pushing completely over, just bank and yank on my turn. 
no rudder input that is just a little bit of elevator and and all aileron so there you go let's go to the right and see if that's just as tight everybody hates right hand turns but that, that, that's it we're doing it <laughs> it's really nice so if you want to fly this as a trainer that's as far as safe will let you bank it won't let you go upside down but when you turn safe off we should be able to do some really cool stuff so let's have a little bit of fun wake it up on a 3s battery there's a full throttle 3s pass into a roll we'll just try to put on a nice air show for everybody that's kind of what i'm like dreaming that i'm flying this in real life Should have done that a little sooner but <clears throat> let's roll it over and come back around it's really cool that we just saw i didn't know that an rv6 or 7 or whatever would be as capable as what i witnessed it being and doing in person in real life you know we can always do more maneuvers with our rcs at least almost always uh, than what we see with full scale but i was witnessing this airplane do this kind of stuff at the air show like really cool to see firsthand because most of the time airplanes that i see flying are just just very upright just like i was in safe mode just like this you know they're not really doing a whole lot so um man that was really cool let's do a full throttle pass in safe here we go 3s battery that's full throttle you guys will notice how quiet this airplane is let me fly by again on a 3s battery and not say anything The goal there was just to get the airplane close. Maybe, I don't know if you kept it in frame the whole time, Abby, if you did, you're amazing. Of course, you're amazing at chasing airplanes. We'll do that one more time so people can just hear it. Let's fly up. I actually forgot how much I liked the zoom on this lens better. Yeah, yeah it goes a little farther. <clears throat> So this plane flies really nice. I actually would say it flies really scale, which is kind of what I would want out of this. It's not some insane 3D thing, but it's fairly sporty. It flies very much uh, like a predictable flight path and it feels kind of lightweight. That was a very fast Did you mean though. to do that? You know what, to be honest, no. I was just trying to get really low to the ground and come in fast. But let's do a touch and go. We have flaps, so let's utilize them. We'll go to half flaps on this uh, pass with, this is still a safe one, so let's get it nice and slow. Little tiny hop there. That was there, a double touch and go. You know go. what, that's okay. I'm, I'm still learning the airplane, so I'm okay with that. That was not bad. A tiny hop on asphalt, I think, I think that everyone can forgive me. <laughs> and I'm just going to fly this for maybe another minute or so. And then we're going to put a 4S battery in and see what it can do. You guys know me. I'm, I'm a huge fan of flying on 4S. But I love that this is extremely capable on 3S. Because let's face it. A lot of people have 3S batteries and maybe don't want to convert to 4S. So will it knife edge? A little bit. I think it'll knife edge a little better with that 4S battery. Let's do a safe look at that kicked it in safe full flap low throttle slow pass now we had a lot of speed coming into that you guys but look at that that was low that was low let's kick those flaps off throttle up bring it around and actually slow it down a little bit sooner see how slow i can get it to fly in front of us i do really like this i do really like this it reminds me a lot of just uh maybe like well, that's about half throttle, okay? About half throttle. I really should have slowed that down a little bit more. That's what I was shooting to do. What does this remind me of? I don't, I don't really know. I, mean, I had a Commander? Is it like, like my Commander? Is that the name of it? No, we're just going full throttle to get us back around. We'll do one flap pass again, and then we're going to kick that 4S battery in and wake it up. This thing is really cool. No rudder on those turns. Okay, here's full flaps, zero throttle. See how fast we can get it to slow down. Pretty slow, really nice. That's gonna be nice for grass landings too. So let's bring it around this way. Get it up over that hill. <laughs> and then let's bring it in and try to do a nice smooth landing. Our touch and go is a little bouncy. I'm actually gonna just really focus on this landing. I'm not very used to this plane yet, but it just feels very predictable. So let's see if I can get it nice and smooth. There's a little bit of rudder on that turn. I'm going to go full flaps because I feel like that's really going to help on this landing. And then we'll bleed off that speed right at the last second and flare. 
Little bounce, guys, little bounce, but I'll take it. That's really not too bad. Let's see what we can do on a 4S battery and just wake this new awesome RV7 airplane up. I can't wait to see what it'll do on 4S. Let's go. I think I'm gonna take off out of safe. And, and Abby, uh, the first 3S battery, you said we had a uh, seven minute flight, right? Yep. That was on 3.9 volts per cell. And climb, there's, oh that's 4S for you. There's the difference. We can climb forever. Now it oh, feels like a plane. Hold on, I messed up. Hold on, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. That's okay. You got the climb, right? Yes. Okay. It feels like a plane. I'm not going to put this in safe, I don't think, maybe for the whole flight. We'll see, unless I panic. Um, I don't know how much of that you got, but th we were at 3.9 volts per cell on that 3S battery. That just sounds so much better now. Look at that. The roll rate's better. Just <clears throat> so much more going on. There we go. That was nice. That was a nice little snap, you guys. Just come right down out of that quick roll 3.9 volts per cell when i landed that after a seven minute flight and i was going full throttle for maybe i don't know a third of the flight or so uh, that means we could have flown probably at least a 10 to 12 minute flight and had no issues at all i mean i wasn't even at a storage charge on that yet <clears throat> which is why our telemetry didn't go off on this you know <laughs> the alarm the low voltage alarm here we go full throttle pass on 4s that was nice. It sounds good, you guys. It doesn't really sound much louder than on 3S, but you can tell there is a difference. So I'll shut up for this pass. We'll go full throttle. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, fast. I like it. It's so much more sporty now. And I can hold a knife edge with this really well in 4S. That is cool. Look at that go. Yeah. Let's go for another pass we'll, we'll do some inverted flying after this pass and see how it holds up to upside down let's get into uh inverted just with a roll we'll just half roll it over <clears throat> going full throttle just about on this and it doesn't need much throttle and very 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 little uh down elevator to keep it upside down let's just see if i can hold it for a whole lap here this is where safe will come in handy because old nate just panics upside down Cannot do it. Can't get much lower than that, especially on a maiden flight. I don't want to go much lower than that upside down, but if I can hold it inverted this long with maybe like 10% down elevator just to keep it this way, you know, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. Can we pull out of that going inverted like an outside loop? Absolutely. At like 75% throttle. Let's go for another. Oh my goodness. You are Here we go. crazy on this one. This is fun on 4S. So if you like a nice scale plane, this is almost like two planes in one. It's a super scale, easy going RC plane on 3S, but on a 4S battery, you know, it really comes alive. That was a roll with rudder, full on both. That's nice. Oh yeah, this is a good airplane. They did good on this one, guys. They did really good on this airplane. Super cool. I feel like I should do something else with it that I haven't done yet. Let's do a nice big loop with it. See how smooth it handles a loop. I'll just climb right into it. That was nice. And then let's go into a snap roll. Not too high or too low, I should say, because we're still learning the tendencies of this airplane, but that was really nice, actually. Let's do one over here. That's a really nice snap roll at the peak of it it really holds a lot of momentum on that snap roll and a lot of airplanes that i have don't do that it will uh <clears throat> kind of just fall out of the momentum i feel like the battery is placed in such a way that it really holds that roll really well does that make sense like if you put the battery to the front of the nose and you have a lot of nose weight and you go up and you do something like this <clears throat> it's going to knock that nose down really fast or if uh, if you're a little tail heavy it'll fall down kind of funny but this airplane when it tumbles in the air it tumbles really really well in a fun way so let's try it again look at that see that there's like not a lot of forward movement on that but it keeps tumbling so that's fun to snap bro i really like that looks good on the bottom of the wing too the lights even though today is a really bright day in person I can see those lights really bright. Everything this plane is doing so far is really fun, really impressive, especially for a smaller airplane. 
That's really nice. <laughs> that is really nice. Nice motorcycle fired up behind us too. We can do some really fun low to the ground stuff, you guys. I feel pretty confident with this airplane. It's fast. Um, I'm really growing in uh, my con. Now listen, did you hear that? I heard that it. was my low throttle, not low throttle, low voltage alarm going off because I've been cooking at full throttle for a long time there. So I'm gonna actually get a shorter flight time on this 4S battery than I did my 3S battery just because um, I'm having more fun with it. <laughs> What's your five minute timer, yeah, I'm right. guessing? So, man, that's a big difference. This there thing it is, cooks. listen. Time to land. Time to land. Not bad for a maiden, Abby. Not bad at all. Let's let's do this whole thing without safe from takeoff to landing on that 4S battery. I think I want to go with full flaps. And you know what? I need no elevator mixing on that. That was really nice. Can I get it a little smoother? Nope, nope. I'm just gonna have to get a feel for that airplane on landings. On grass, that would have been perfect. Yeah, I think so. I just came in a little fast, got a little bounce, but you saw what I bounced an inch off the ground. Yeah, well, hardly noticeable. Hardly noticeable, I'll take it. That was a lot of fun. What a good maiden. So guys, that battery, the 4S battery, is at 3.73 volts per cell. Um, you can push that to maybe 3.5, 3.4 volts per cell while you're flying. And of course that's gonna come back up close to a tenth of a point, And that's gonna probably put us at a perfect storage charge. So that alarm went off, I think at just the best time. Uh, that was a much shorter flight. What do you say, five minute flight on that? Yeah. Because of the way I was flying it. So if you, you wanna fly cooking. it- I mean, that was fast. It was fast. Uh, if you wanna fly it super sporty and fun, like I just did, then you're looking at a five minute flight, but I think you can easily obtain 12 to 15 minutes of flight if you're just flying it very docile. That was a fully charged, smart battery. That's why we had telemet telemetry back to the radio. Now, I wanna say this. I like to say this on maiden flights because sometimes maidens, new airplanes, kinda encourage people to get into the hobby. Maybe you've never wanted to join the hobby before, but now you do because you just love this airplane. If you do that, what you should pair with your new airplane is insurance. The Academy of Model Aeronautics, or AMA. Uh, they provide insurance for the hobbyists, and we've had a lot of discussion recently in a couple videos about AMA insurance, and, and one regular viewer, I can't remember your name off the top of my head, asked, Nate, hey, I, uh, I was flying, and, and my plane threw, uh, flew through my buddy's F-150 windshield. Well, sorry to hear about that. Um, he said that he wasn't flying at his AMA-sanctioned airfield when that happened, and he was unsure if AMA would even step in, so I don't know that he even contacted them or bothered them with the, uh, the claim, you know, because he wasn't flying at an AMA field. But from my understanding, he was flying by all their rules and suggested guidelines. He had a spotter, all the works. Just a radio malfunction happened and boom, $500 windshield. Well, if he would have called AMA, they would have stepped in. Now, maybe he would have had a smaller deductible or something, but they can cover you at non-AMA sanctioned air spaces as long as you're flying by their suggested rules and guidelines, and there's really nothing to say otherwise when you're flying. So it's really important that for the price of a battery, maybe two or three batteries, depending on what you're flying, you can have insurance that'll just cover you while you're in the air. It's super important to talk about in this hobby just to keep the best perspective from everybody, the viewers, the potential new people coming into the hobby. You know, having insurance is just gonna mean that when those bad things do happen, we can take care of it the most professional and just uh, head held high kind of way. So I wouldn't ever imagine flying without the Academy of Model Aeronautics in my pocket. And I highly encourage you guys to check them out. We'll have them linked in the description box below. Let's talk about this airplane, you guys. What a fun airplane. It's not very often that I say this, but I really feel like I've got two airplanes in one here. We have a very nice docile flyer on a 3S battery that you can basically fly as a trainer or just ridiculously scale. And then a nice long flight time too. But if you wanna completely wake this thing up and fly it like an aerobatic, maneuverable airplane with great inverted flight, super fun snaps, rolls are tight if you want them to be, and we have loops that you can just go to infinity and beyond. I hate to say that, but our daughter Amelia's learned buzz now, so she knows infinity and beyond. So you can climb that loop as high as you want to and then bring it back around or you can do a nice tight loop. This thing is doing everything that I want to throw at it and 
probably learn some more maneuvers on it. Really fun airplane. You know, someone might say, ah, oh, it's not a new uh, Warbird, not a new jet or whatever, but I think we need airplanes like this. The lights on this, the rivets, the pilot in here, everything just looks really scale, and I love that. So if you wanna pick this up, we'll have a link in the description box below, and know that if you use that link, you help support our channel and our family. And that's really important because this video that you're watching is totally free. But if you want to support our channel and our family, you appreciate family-friendly content where we're just promoting uh, the hobby and just getting in front of the camera and having fun flying airplanes, then pick your airplane up through our link in the description box. Even if you don't buy this airplane, you're just thinking you need another battery, maybe you want to upgrade your charger, or there's another airplane or truck that you want to buy, you can click the link to this airplane and then go buy whatever else you need while you're there. And it really means the world to us, so thank you. A massive thanks to the big guy upstairs. I am just so grateful for this beautiful day. Very calm weather. We actually have almost no wind. What a perfect day to fly RC planes. And a shout out to other YouTubers that especially are in the RC hobby that have been thanking God in your videos. I applaud you guys and I'm so proud and happy to know that we're not the only ones doing this and it means a lot. I've even noticed, you know, one of my good friends, Gary, he does that, and uh, I don't want to say their name to bring too much attention to it, but uh, a big, a big, Abby, I haven't even told you, a big uh, industry, a big manufacturer, producer of RCs released a video, I think today or yesterday that did that, so I think that's really cool, and um, shout out to you guys, big, big uh, fist bump. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters too, because guys, uh, you bought that new camera for us for the most part, you helped us buy it but it's on the fritz and we're gonna to try to get it taken care of. It's, so, in, it's within the one year warranty. It should be fine. But it might be a while till we see the beautiful 4K back. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Should we you know, go for a rental camera? It might be months until we get 4K back. Are you okay with 1080p for now? The old camera is good enough. Let us know and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have another cool RC plane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.